Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Six Sister Stuff and welcome to Meal Prep Monday. Today I am prepping chicken teriyaki rice bowls. So if you've been following us for a little bit, we just kind of post recipes whenever we feel like it, but now we're finally starting to get organized and every Monday I'm going to start doing a meal prep, whether it's freezer meals, whether it's breakfast meals, lunch meals, anything like that. So be sure to stop by. Every Monday you'll see some sort of meal prep going on. Now if you haven't done it yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Push that little bell to get our notifications, especially if you're trying to eat healthier. Stop by on Mondays. I'm gonna be prepping, meal prepping, all kinds of stuff. So you won't wanna miss it. Let's go make these teriyaki chicken bowls so you can eat healthy through the week. So first I'm going to take a cookie sheet and line it with foil, then spray it with non-stick cooking spray. Then you're going to add two large chicken breasts onto the cookie sheet. Next I'm just going to push that aside to get ready for my vegetables. Now in my teriyaki bowls I love broccoli and carrots, but you can use whatever vegetables you like. So I'm just going to chop up this broccoli into like bite-sized pieces. If you love broccoli, I would suggest using two heads of broccoli because it kind of shrinks down as it cooks. Then just put your broccoli right onto the cookie sheet. Um, if you have big pieces, I'm breaking up a little just so I can have better bite-sized pieces. So you just put them all on, spread them out a little bit so they'll cook evenly. Next, I'm just gonna take a bag of carrots and dump it on. Now you can use whatever carrots you like if you wanna peel and chop them, that's great. But I love to make my meal prepping super fast and easy. Then you're just gonna spread them all out. They can go in between the chicken. You want them, all the carrots, at least touching a little bit of the foil. All right, there we go. Next, I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit of salt and pepper. You can use any seasonings you like. We are going to put teriyaki sauce on it, so you don't need a ton of seasonings. Now, before I put it in the oven, I drizzled about one teaspoon of olive oil on one side of the carrots and one teaspoon on the broccoli. Bake it at 375 degrees for 45 minutes, and then about halfway through, make sure you stir your vegetables, mix that olive oil around so they don't burn. While that's baking, you can get your rice ready. I used minute brown rice. You can use whatever rice you want. So I cooked about two cups, so each person gets half a cup of rice. Now it's time for the chicken and vegetables. Now you can see that the broccoli shrunk quite a bit. All right, so first I just cut my chicken in half so I would have my four servings. Then I kind of split my vegetables into four and put them into the containers. Then I just did the same exact thing with the carrots, kind of split them into piles and put them into the containers. Now with the chicken you can leave it as big pieces but I like mine bite size, it makes it a lot easier for me. So I chopped up my chicken. Then I just put it right on top of my vegetables and I did it with each individual chicken and put it in each bowl. Now with the teriyaki sauce, you don't want to overdo it. I use Kinkoman's teriyaki sauce, it is my favorite, but I only use one tablespoon of it. If you use more than one tablespoon, you are getting a ton of sodium, um, so just a little bit goes a long way. I like to put my sauce on as I meal prep, so the flavor can kind of mix around into the rice and into the chicken and vegetables while it's sitting in the fridge. So when you're done, you just put the lids on, you stick them in your refrigerator, and eat it for the next four days. And I'm going to have all the nutrition facts in the description, so be sure to check those out. And make sure you subscribe to our channel to see all of our YouTube videos. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. See you next time, and happy healthy eating.